So a lot of people don't like what I said about Kevin Samuels, fresh and fit and pearl. But at the end of the day, it is the truth. Most men are lonely and that's the reality of it. Most men are not that guy to attract a bunch of attractive women. That's just the reality of it. Most men do not fit Kevin Samuels, pearls, Andrew Tate's, and everybody else's description of a high value man. The reason you're here right now is because the term high value man seems to be every. Number one, in order to be a high value man, it starts with money. Again, like it or not, I didn't put the six figure thing out there. It's been with us since the mid eighties. So you have to make a certain amount of money. And the line is roughly at $10,000 a month adjusted for Atlanta dollars. Most of you guys do not meet the standards. Almost all of you guys don't meet the standards. I don't think most women can actually genuinely understand how lonely the majority of men are. Yeah. And you need, you need to truly understand if you're Joe Schmo, <laughs> average in nearly every way, in Starbucks working, you ain't getting a DM ever. But you girls, you girls, you girls will never be lonely. As much as you might be unhappy with the possible suitors, you can at least fuck about and flirt if you feel sad. Yeah. There are men out here in the world mm -hmm. who have genuine loneliness. And, and I can prove this statistically. Why do you think it's all the men killing themselves compared to the women? But could we blame this on lack of communication? No, no, no. we're going to blame this. No, 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 no. I'm just saying to you. I'm just, just asking. I'm very, I'm just very curious. The men, the men He's with, telling you right now. The men with absolutely zero partners, do you know what they try? They certainly try communication. Most men attract the women who cannot get the high value man and what's left over. Most men cannot get the young attractive woman and that's the reality of it. Most men think that once a woman turns 30, she'll be alone because that brings them comfort. Women at any age will get somebody. Women are never alone. They just can't get the guy that they want and men know this. Why do you think women are able to make OnlyFans and even in their 30s able to live off that? It's off the back of incels. Men of all ages are paying for it. Most men don't even get compliments often and would be lucky to get a compliment from any woman at any age. Go on dating apps, this proves this. A woman who looks like a foot can get more swipes than a man who, I know a man who's a doctor right now, 41, having trouble, having trouble finding a decent woman, sending her simp emails and doing things that he should not be doing because he doesn't want to be alone and he wants to start a family. And the woman he does get that's in their 20s, they're severely unattractive. The attractive ones are running around. 80% of women is chasing up the 20% of men. Most men think attractive women are out of their league, so they probably don't even approach her. Thinking a woman will be gorgeous at 25 and automatically ugly to every man around her at 30 is copium because that's not the reality and you know it's not and men know it too it's their revenge fantasy most men are lonely that's why men unallow themselves in higher rates that's just the reality of it the only way a man can attain a young 25 year old a young woman who's 18 to 25 is if he beats all the odds and becomes successful if he couldn't attract it at 25 it's no point that he's gonna attract it at 30 unless he cracks six figures he knows it and we know it 18 to 25 year old women are 8.5 percent of the population factor in race high if she's childless, if she's in weight requirements, if she's dating somebody already her age, if she has a mental disability, if she's on a medication because she has a mental disability, if she's on OnlyFans, if she has any type of amputation, disability, the numbers get low and every man who wants it, who's an average man, cannot obtain it. It's impossible. I can literally go to the club and I have done this, gone to the club and left home in a Lamborghini. My cousin's 36 and we still score men. So it's a lot easier for women. Men got to buy a Porsche. Women just have to be born. But when a man say, you hit the wall, you don't hit the wall for most men. You probably hit the wall for high earning men, but that's just high earning men. That makes them feel good that you can't get a high earning man. It's even hard for good guys who have everything. Check this guy out. He's a decent guy. No kids, great job. And look, that man- Kyle, Las Vegas, how old are you? I'm 32. 32. What do you do for a living? I work at the airport. Airport, you have any children? No, no kids. No kids. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm um, a Taurus. Taurus. What day is your birthday? Um, someone that uh, let's say not really, you know, big on social media like that. As far as you know, giving attention on there, wanting attention. And also couldn't find a decent woman to settle down. But the dating market is for men, right? Women are owning the dating market. And the younger women men do get, they're not satisfied with looks wise. Because the ones who are attractive are taken by men her age or with somebody else, a high earning man. They gotta beat the odds. And not only do they got to beat the odds, that woman has to wanna be with them. It's not happening for every single man who wants it. That's why men are online taking advice from this guy. 
lying to themselves saying that this guy is a bad guy to feel good about them not having any options when in reality if you're a decent guy not weird or not a lame you'll get a woman if you had to take advice from a red pill person you probably aren't that guy men are coping and it's actually kind of sad